got a pill, man, and I don't need nothing else to get me to the ceiling. What's going on, my good people? You're back, rolling with the wizard. And uh, today we're going to be using this here, grab a twisted fronto again. Um, I don't know if you tuned into our last episode, but if you did, um, you know that we broke this down and did a crazy review. The good people at Grab a Twisted Fronto um, sent these in for review, which was an amazing thing. And um, we definitely put them to the test. We went to see if, um, you know, how they stood up against the New York Frontos. And, um, you know, they soft usually when they come out. Look at this. This one's fresh right out the package, soft. You saw the last video too. Um, you see here. This is a good leaf. This one's the honey one. We didn't get to open this up in the last one, so that's why I figured I'd do this one for the next one. Um, but uh, let me see. So let's grab a vein here. I already broke up the bud and stuff. So um, even though there's like a piece or two here that I'm gonna have to re redo. Um, but yeah, let's get this open. And um, we also gonna be using the here Juicy J roller machine to get the job done. We're gonna see if it works with that. So I wanna get a good leaf here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one here, you see? This one right here. So just give me a second to pull this out. But what's going on, people? Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let us know how the holidays have been going. Um let us know where you from, how you celebrate the holidays, what you're going to be doing for New Year's. You're going to a party in New Year's. Um, you're just going to be home with the family. Uh, whatever it is you're doing, man, let us know. Let us know. It's going to be fun. Um, we're here in New York. I'm going to be going to my mom's crib. That's like tradition. So you can't change tradition. You don't know how that goes. So I'm, I'm just trimming this. Don't mind me, y'all. Just trimming this up. Definitely um let us know what y'all gonna be doing. I just think it's cool, it's fun, and no y'all can't come to my mama's. Um just saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But uh yeah, everybody enjoy man, have a good one. I hope y'all enjoy the week and all that. We definitely been having a blast with Christmas and everything else, you know, the kids. It's all for the kids, but I still have fun. I like to have fun, especially when I get cash Christmas gifts because I'm older now. And that's just how it works, you know. But, um, yeah, so uh, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be starting to do some uh, more lives. I want to do the lives. So I'm probably just going to be rolling blunts for an hour, answering questions, stuff like that. Um, I think it'll be fun and a good addition to the show. Um... But y'all let me know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Put that in the comments. Would y'all like to see more lives from me? Would y'all like to be able to ask questions and do things like that? Um, Speak to me. Let me know what's going on. So we still got this bud here. I was crushing it by hand because for some reason this bud, it like sticks together a lot. And when I do it by hand, for some reason it breaks easier. When I crush it, it just all sticks and... Looks like less bud to be honest than what it actually is. And um with the way that y'all people be getting at me for the size of my blunts and stuff. I make sure that I, I could put I make it look like the most possible, you know. So this right here is a um a 1.20 1.20 grams. We're gonna put in this just because it's Friday. So we're going to double up. We're going to put up a nice piece of leaf here to see if this grab right. So um, they come with these scissors here. But to be honest, I'm home and them little scissors thing, that's like if you out in the street, those things are cool, man. That, that's definitely a, a plus if you out in the street. But if you home and you got regular scissors, man, just pull out the regular scissors and just, just go for it. You know what I'm saying? Just get it done right. And then um, we want to measure this out more or less. So we're going to bring this here. Let's bring this here. And let's see. So we got this paper. And it's going to be good to more or less around here. So let's just do this to here. Right? Then we're going to take the scissors. Let's 
put it between there, snip, and that should cover that there. See that? Perfect, perfect little fit. So we got that. Now this little vein here, I don't really like to get that. That's what, that stuff holds a lot of tobacco, and that's where a lot of the nicotine is at. I mean, this is all tobacco, but that's where a lot of the nicotine is at, and those thick stems. So try to remove those if you can. Just get less nicotine out of it when you do. So we had that. We're going to straighten this out just a little bit so that it's nice and neat. All right. See what I'm saying? Then once you have that, I'm going to pop this out. Get that out of there. We don't want that in the blunt. All right. So that's what you end up with, a nice little piece of frontal. We're gonna throw the rest of this stuff out of here. Get out the way. Then we're gonna come take the butt. We're gonna throw this in here. You know, spread it out nicely. Spread it out nicely. All right, people, so. I'm gonna stay away from the edges this time. I usually just go to the edge, but I'm gonna stay away from the edge this time. And it feels like I got another one of those thick pieces here. Hold on. Crush that up. You don't want thick pieces because it just leaves holes. Or like, not holes, but it leaves um spaces on the inside of the blunt. And that's how you get um like when your blunt canoes and stuff like that. You don't want that to happen. You want your bud to be nicely broken and evenly distributed throughout the blunt. So that way that, you know, like a cigar or a cigarette, you know, everything is packed in properly. So that's how it burns straight. If you got, you know, just a little bit of bud and you, you got all this paper and whatever, you're not able to completely, um, you know, like just tighten the bud in there you gotta have enough bud to be able to tighten so that way when you tighten it still it can still pull but you don't need to tighten too much if y'all know what you know rollers know what i'm talking about and if you just start and then you will eventually know what i'm talking about for sure so we have that here you know what i'm still gonna just push this out to the end just cuz let me see just because it, it keeps it solid on one side I should use a filter with this too. I think I might. Let me see how long this is. Yeah, I got I got enough space for a filter, so let me just let me grab a filter real quick. I'm gonna use one of the heavy duty jump offs right now. Let's see if I can show y'all right quick. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of these jump balls. These are actually big though. You know what, we're not gonna use that. Those are too big. Let me see. Where's my... Hold on a second, I, I found them, I found them. Looking for my other thing, here they go. All right, so we got that. Now, Gonna twist this up, right? Twist that up. Keep it tight, though. And hey, keep it tight, all right? And I'm gonna walk these dogs so we can lit. <laughs> but check it. Just keep it like that, nice and tight. And then when you coming back, I've been doing this in the last couple of videos. I just want to make sure that y'all really know how to do it, cause this helps a lot when they're not pre-roll. So you just come back around after you have it rolled when you're opening it back up the other end you're going to take and you're going to start to roll that and small also while the other one is still in your hand and just start to like twist them twist one open while the other one closes right and when you get to the end there it should just snap right in see and now when you put and you open it it don't really open it stays shut for the most part you see how that works crazy so um usually though when i do this 
it's been a little bit too thin lately so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna i'm gonna loosen this up just a tad so that is more or less the same size as the weed that's here you know and now we should be rolling straight up all right so now with that said and done let's try to just accommodate a little better i feel like there's another piece here that could be broken up a little better whatever all right so that's that got all this in stretched out boom all right so now we good now we're gonna take this here we're gonna lick the top of this just to have that nice and moist you know all right so we did that and then we're gonna close this we're gonna roll up on this and then we're gonna start to twist it towards us and we're gonna leave it alone and we're gonna take this here we're gonna drop this in just like that just drop it in if there's some parts that are a little difficult just look around see where the issues are taking place and just try to fit them in also everything should fit nicely because we cut it accordingly so once that's all in pushed in there then you're gonna roll back on the two sides roll back on them this don't look like it grab properly but let's see if we can get this we can get this hold on all right this is the side we're doing actually no this is the side this is how it should be Okay, and there we go. It's this piece here. It's like I think it's just slightly too long. Let's just trim off just a little piece here, and I think we should make ends meet now. Now I think ends should meet. There you go. just depends on the pieces man you got to try to like squeeze them in this might not be the best thing for this but you know us we like to try everything so even though this may not work it might just but you know we don't give up we try to get this going properly then um and i think we got it to grab so once it grabs stretch out just to make sure you can reach everything and lick again. Being that it's not grabbed perfectly, we want to hold in place and then just start to roll towards you. Roll that towards you, then lick again. You just want it nice and moist to make sure that it's going to be for sure, for sure stuck. You know what I mean? Then you just roll that down. I like to roll it back a couple of times, like do like 10 Mississippi, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi. We're going to do 5. We're going to do 5. We're going to open this up. We're going to pop this open. And we should have a pretty decent roll here. Look at that. See that? Look at that. Took us a second to get it in. But the job that it does, though, is pretty damn amazing. Gotta give credit where credit due. Look at that. That's pretty damn amazing, y'all. So, um... Just give me a second, because I think the filter... Might have had a little bit of an issue staying close to the bud, which is what happens when you use these frontos for some reason. And a filter and that roller machine, it, it's, it could be a hassle sometimes if you don't know what you're doing, you know? So even me, I know what I'm doing and the shit is still a hassle, you feel me? 
But um But no worries, no worries, we make this work. Cause we in a league of our own. See what I'm saying? Then um told y'all I went on vacation and stuff, so all my like packing stuff is like packed away still. I'll get to that. I'm trying to keep this in. But that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me clip this here. Make sure I can pull. Oh, yeah, this got a pull. This got a pull. This is going to be just fine. So, y'all, this definitely worked. Um, Did it give us a hard time? Absolutely. Sure did. This has a vein here. I'm going to just trim this here because we don't really need that. We want it to stick. And we don't want this bud to keep popping out. Let me see if I have something here that I could, um, that I could use. You know what? We're going to use one of those scissors. That should be able to keep this packed in. But, yo, that's pretty much it. It does take a little bit of time to get it working, but it does work. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, remember the next time, um, oh, I wanted to let y'all know before we go, um, they said that if these things start to dry out, you can take like a wet nap, you throw it in the bag, and it'll moisten them out, and everything will be back to normal. So that's just a word of advice that I didn't get to mention in the last video. So um, definitely take that to heart. And um, if you're going to use these, definitely know that you can use the Juicy J roller machine. It definitely works. You can use any other roller machine. I guess you just got to cut it down to size. And... Um, You'll be smoking these fat joints just like this. So that's pretty much it, people. Straighten this out for the gram. But look, perfectly rolled blunt every time. All right? So let us know what you think in the comments, my people. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, do what we about to do. You know, light up.